Hello everybody, Sussex Biker here. Uh, just like to firstly say uh, thanks to everyone that's subscribed to me recently. You've helped push me over the 200 subs barrier, which as I've said before, uh, when I got to 100 I didn't think I'd get 50, so thanks very much. It is appreciated. Um, it's quite amazing you can watch my inane drivel. I'm definitely, you know, I know I'm not as entertaining as some of the vloggers out there. I don't really do it for that. I'm never going to be uh, an entertaining guy. I'm just me. Little old me. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully I can keep your attention and you want to watch, you know, you'll watch videos I put out. So, yeah, thanks very much for that. Um, yeah, so what else? Well, I haven't vlogged for a couple of weeks. Don't really have much to talk about, really. Not that I do anyway. Um, I'm just going to get past this fit, hopefully. Yeah. So, what's been happening with me? Not much, really. Same old, same old. It was my birthday last week. I won't say how old I was, but uh, <laughs> just another day, really. Although I did treat myself to some nice new IXS summer gloves. Aren't they beautiful? I must admit, I've spent more in the last couple of years on gloves. I probably could have <laughs> bought a really, really decent set for the money I've spent on pairs of gloves. It's that thing in it, you, you get something and you think, yeah, I like that, and then you see something else and you want it. Take the think of the money I've spent on gear. It's best not to think about it, really, I find. I'll tell you something I have noticed, and I think I've touched on this before. Well, I might not have done. But I haven't got it on camera, but uh, last week I was out riding. And, you know, as you do, you filter to the front. And I've had it on sort of two or three occasions now where the cars I've filtered past have got really arsy about it. To the point where they try to see you coming and they try blocking you off. Or you're in traffic and then they get past you and barge back in again, you know, on a dual carriageway or something. I don't know if anyone else has had this at all. I suppose the guys that ride in London... I suppose, I don't know, a Lon I suppose London traffic must be used to it. It's kind of put me off filtering, to be honest. You know, I don't know if it's just... They're ignorant and they don't think you're allowed to do it. Or... They just take an exception to it. But, uh, no nod from the scooter. I'll nod to anything, me. Like a nodding dog. But yeah, I've had uh, I've had a couple of horrible experiences lately with filtering. Uh, people don't seem to like it at all. They don't like it up on Captain. I had one guy last week uh, in an XF Jag. Old guy, it must have been in his 60s or 70s. And just, yeah, did not want me to get past him. I might go out at some point with the camera on and see if I can... Uh, capture some of this behaviour see what you guys make of it so I say thanks again to the crazy mook for, for meeting up with me and we had a nice ride out that day it was fantastic like he said in his vlog um, about the editing I had so much footage to go through I was quite surprised the uh, drift battery well I carry two batteries but I was quite surprised I had a I must have recorded about three four hours of footage unbelievable and it was hard going through all that lot to edit it down to you know 10 10 odd minute video I think the first time I tried to edit it it ended up being about half an hour's worth and I thought well knows what they're doing and uh, yeah it was about 28 oh, 28 minutes 30 minutes and I thought well 
nobody's going to watch that. So I redid it and I think I got it around 10 minutes or so. Which seems to be the general opinion that any video sort of should be around 10 minutes or so long. I don't know, it seems to be like one of the vloggers pearls of wisdom. I suppose it can get a bit boring watching a, a video that's more than 10-15 minutes. But then I guess it depends on the subject matter. Now, something I noticed a lot lately, and I don't know if it's just, and I'm not going to get into the whole you're a biker if you ride all year round or you're a fair weather biker, you only come out for a few summer days. But I don't know if that has an impact on it. But the amount of people that don't nod. You know, I'm not just talking mopeds or scooters because generally they won't nod. Some do. And learners on 125, some will nod, I find. But I'm talking, you know, big bikes if you like, motorcycles. You know what I mean. But it's just, yeah, I've, I've just noticed it. A lot, a lot of people just think they're too good to nod. I mean, I don't know. You guys that ride, does it bother you? You know, do you nod? I like to nod, it's part of the, I can never say this word right, camaraderie. Brotherhood, if you like. You know, we make up, the, I think, one of the a small percentage of road users and it's just one of those things I thought it was universally accepted that you are nod to other two wheel I know that sometimes you can't you know if you come past a large group you know <laughs> I don't think you're going to nod to every single rider are you you just sort of I just sort of toot a nod like a long nod if you're concentrating on cornering or something like that then yeah there's times you're not going to be able to nod but generally just something I've noticed this year, this summer, let's see, that uh, people seem to have got too good to nod. And I, I don't know, it is what it is, I suppose, if you're either that way inclined or you're not. Me personally. You know, I carry on like I do, not practically everything and anything. You know, and it's it's like I, you know, I've met up with some bikers that you know they won't nod to learners. You know, or they're a learner. You know, when they become a proper biker, then I nod to them. And you think, well, no, my my view is you might encourage them to become part of the biking culture, fraternity, motorcyclist or go on to do their big bike test and get a bigger bike you know, so to me it, you know, it's welcoming them in making them feel part of the, the gang if you like I don't know, what do you think? you know, I've been to quite a few biker haunts and you don't, don't really see that many uh, learners there. I mean, my brother-in-law, he's a, he's a, he's on L plates on the 125, and uh, I took him to uh, Loomis in Hampshire, and uh, he was the, it was on a Sunday, and like he said, you know, on his own, he'd never dream of riding and going there somewhere like that, because he would just feel like everybody's watching him. And he was the only learner there that day when we went. But, you know, I certainly don't look down my nose at learners. I, I know we're all different and some of the hardcore bikers do. But, you know, I think they need to be encouraged. Even squids. Even these young kiddies you see on their scooters squidding. I mean, yeah, they're probably only going to ride a moped till they can get a car licence, but do you know what, I think the way fuel prices are going and the way car insurance prices are going, I wouldn't be surprised because biking could probably work out to be cheaper. So yes, I look at these, these guys on their mopeds, the twist and goes, showing all the skin and think, you idiots, but I suppose if you can get to talk to them and educate them to wear start wearing safety gear 
it could only be a good thing. We should be one big happy family on two wheels. As soppy as that sounds. But yeah, I don't care what you ride. Two wheels is two wheels. Anyway, I've probably gone on for long enough. Um, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, ride safe, be safe and uh, goodbye. Right, bonus footage time. <laughs> I was deciding off and I spotted this rather interesting uh, machine. So I thought we'd give him a little follow. What a machine that is, eh? Look at that. That is quality. I should have gone beside him really, shouldn't I? Certainly getting a lot of looks. What a machine! It's not something you see every day, is it? Let's see, another one too good to nod, as per my earlier discussion. I've often wondered actually what it would be like to uh, ride a motorcycle and sidecar combination. I wonder what it corners like. I don't know what CC it is. Go for it now. <laughs> he gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, for the second time. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>